this case uh, uh, is a pacemaker implantation in persistent LSVC. Uh, as we know, persistent LSVC is a common congenital anomaly of the uh, systemic venous return with a prevalence ranging from 0.1 to 0.5 percent in general population and 3 to 10 percent of congenital heart disease. In 80 percent of the patients, there is a right superior vena cava present and in 20 percent of the cases, the right superior vena cava may be absent and only when right superior vena cava is absent, we go ahead with the uh, pacemaker implantation through the persistent LSVC. With this background, we go ahead with the case history. This was a 95-year-old male patient, active male patient. Uh, he, was a, um, he was running around 100 madrasas. He was very active. And he presented with a history of giddiness. His e ECG showed uh, complete heart block. And beta blocker was, he was on beta blocker, which was stopped one week prior to admission. This was his ECG, uh, which showed uh, AV dissociation, uh, right axis deviation, right bundle branch uh, block morpho morphology. And his lab investigations, creatinine, potassium, and the thyroid function test were normal. In view of his active lifestyle, uh, we went ahead with the dual chamber uh, pacemaker implantation. And following were his images. A left anticubital uh, vein uh, injection was taken, and venogram was done. And under fluoroscopic guidance, extra thoracic left subclavian vein uh, puncture was done and a guide wire was uh, passed and we saw that the guide wire descended caudally on the left side of the vertebral column into the persistent LSVC into the coronary sinus. In order that we had to and a, co a contrast injection was taken to make sure that it is a left uh, superior vena cava which uh, went into the coronary sinus. In order to look for uh, the uh, right uh, superior vena cava, we passed a guide wire and crossed over, uh, through, uh, on the other side of the vertebral column and the guide wire passed into the uh, left, right internal jugular vein. A four French uh, cobra catheter was uh, used to uh, delineate the anatomy of the right uh, superior vena cava uh, and, but we saw that the, there was uh, no right superior vena cava and a contrast injection also confirmed that uh, the right internal jugular vein drained into the uh, persistent LSVC. So we went ahead with the pacemaker implantation through the persistent LSVC and the guide wire was passed into the coronary sinus and we made sure that it was entering into the right atrium and this was confirmed with the contrast injection. Uh, time passive lead, right atrial lead was uh, uh, um, with a J-shaped uh, stillet was introduced into the right atrium and uh, the uh, right atrial lead was fixed uh, just above the tricuspid bowel uh, on the anterior uh, wall of the right atrium. The right ventricular lead uh, S-shaped uh, stillet was used. Actually, uh, it was pre-shaped into a S-shaped uh, stillet and uh, the right ventricular uh, lead was uh, um, uh, negotiated through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle and just below the tricuspid uh, valve, it was uh, uh, implanted into the right ventricular septum. The uh, re lead parameters uh, uh, were uh, adequate and after confirming uh, uh, that the lead parameters were ad adequate and uh, ruling out uh, diaphragmatic pacing and the uh, various maneuvers with the respiration and coughing, uh, the leads were fixed to the pul uh, pacemaker uh, pulse generator and the wound was closed in layers. The position of the leads were uh, uh, checked in uh, the RAO uh, view and in the lateral view. And these were the lead parameters uh, post implantation. Follow up of this uh, patient one year after uh, implantation, the lead parameters were stable and patient is doing well. So the take home message with this case is a persistent LSVC, it poses a technical challenge in pacemaker implantation. There are various techniques proposed uh, to position uh, the uh, uh, leads via the persistent LSVC. The technique used here is uh, a shaped stillet in uh, to direct the lead in the RV apex and uh, in the atrial lead a preformed J-stepped uh, stillet was used to enable that the atrial lead will enter into uh, passively into the right atrial septum. Other techniques uh, dedicated CRT delivery sheets, long uh, dedicated uh, uh, CRT sheets or 8.5 French uh, sheets which are almost seven, uh, 71 centimeters long that can direct the uh, lead into the right ventricle can also be used. Here we have used a passive uh, fixation lead mainly because it was an elderly gentleman to um, uh, like prevent any cardiac perforation and uh, cardiac tamponade 
that's why we had used a passive fixation lead. Otherwise, active fixation lead is preferred because <coughs> there is less lead uh, dislodgement in patients with uh, pacemaker implantation.